Hello everybody, this is Dragon Kirby, and welcome back to Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. In the last episode, we went through the Tower of Fate Ascent, and we are able to collect all the Cypher Coins and all the music sheets. The music, I didn't show the music sheet on screen for this one, because I, saw, I showed you where it was, I just grabbed it when trying to find Cypher Coins in that uh, auto-scrolling section. But up next, let's head to the Tower of Fate and try to complete the Potion of Power. Let's get volatile. We have, just like last time, we have a lot of uh, blocks deciding, hey, let's just Let's just have our let's just have our fun here. We have a bit of a a bit of a long drop. And we can go all the way over here. And because there's a secret, if we keep going, we find five music sheets. Tonic, some food, I mean, I just realized, if I'm correct, we have all the, we have, yeah, we are, wait, we already have all the cypher points, so yeah, we don't have to worry about anything. So let's, uh, let's head over to the Enchantress, shall we? I got lucky there. Also, apparently the bombs show where platforms are going to be, uh, which is very interesting. We don't, we're not allowed to break this, uh, checkpoint. Plague Knight, huh? So your fool's errand draws to a close. <laughs> you know what I'm after, Archatress, and how important this is. Do not speak to me of importance. Your quest is folly. You'll never be anything more than you are. Now so you've come to rob me of my es essence, to shape the world to your whim? Essence is insignificant to me. I, but you, my servant, must be reminded of your place. My place is at my Mona's side, and you won't stop me. If you insist on dancing with death, then I shall take the lead. We're off against the Enchantress. We are on a very, very uh, limited... Uh, Very uh destructible platform as we attack. And now that she's under us, now even harder for us to hit. And she and even wait, even she's breaking the platforms. At least we can rebuild some of it. There we go, let's just you know, let's heal up the massive gap. Actually, let's grab the Staff of Striking real quick. There we go, we got some... Come on, just, just one more hit. 
There we go. Really, you would be a waste of my energy, and, and, and of an uh, and uh, of a powerful alchemist. I'll make use of you yet, Plague Knight. Take what you will. Make your potion. But what you truly desire will always elude you. No, stop your assault, Plague Knight. Look, I've brought someone. Plague Knight, come to your senses. You don't need to go through with this. Hona, you don't understand. I was too weak to say it before. Now I can show you I'm good enough. Black, Black Knight told me everything. You don't need a potion to win me over. You already have. What? What? But it's too late. I've already defeated the Enchantress and began the final distillation. It's too late. I must go after her. You two, touch nothing until I return. Where is all this power coming from? This wasn't in our notes. The essences are, the essences are reacting unpredictably. Watch out! We're facing against a, sh a shadow of ourselves. And this, and he is not going to play nice. He is, basically we are fighting exactly what we would have fought in the Explodatorium if we were Shovel Knight. And now since we're playing Knight, we have to deal with our, well, the, our shadow. Let's see if we can handle, if we can handle our, our cells. Better than our than Shadow Sh Shovel Knight could. A lot of the teleportation is really getting out of hand. We have one more strike to hit. And there we go. We defeated our shadow. But the shadow is not our final boss. We now have, we have to deal with the potion, I guess the potion's true form. It seems to be like this weird mixture of, of Plague Knight and the potion using, using the potion as a, using Plague Knight's, I guess, memories and emotions to attack. Do any damage, we need to break the seal that's in front of that's on this cauldron, kind of like I don't like the cauldron that we did when we go through those little cipher. Those weird, what is it? Those when those stages with the cipher coins, when those weird little cannons, that's what we're trying to do. If we can. Gotta be careful because, oh crap, I'm about to die. There we go. I'm gonna use a staff of striking for this. Come on. No, no, no. This is just fair. This is way more tough. This is way tougher than I thought. There we go. We stunned it. And we take it down. You did it. The reaction has stabilized. Wow, there it is. The ultimate potion. Well, are you going to drink it now? Heh, <laughs> I. I don't, 
I don't think I need it anymore, Mona. But we must take it with us. It's all we've been working for. My future as an alchemist is riding on it. Wait, I just got an idea. You know how much energy is con contained in this potion, right? Yeah, <laughs> with this much boom, you could easily level a whole tower. And be seen for miles in all directions. Mona, I love the way you think. <laughs> the bigger the explosion, the better the alchemist. Those bumbling townsfolks would throw us a parade. We could practice alchemy anywhere we want. We wouldn't have to hide anymore. But you're holding a potion that can give you anything you could ever want. Are you sure about this? I already have everything I could ever want. Let's blow this joint. That was Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. We have Primor Keep, the King Knight knighted by the King. The Plague Knight has been is now knighted, the Trouple Pond. What's happening over here? Dancing, dancing the night away. Yep. I am so sorry, Trouple King, for calling you Trouple King for all for many, 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 many years. The Lich Yard of Spect Spectanite. Missing the missing locket. Uh, okay, Spectre Knight's upset. Iron Whale Treasure Knight. Pillaging the Pillager. Okay, that was rude. The Explodatorium. Under new management? <laughs> oh, Percy. Oh, Percy and the Magicists start getting together. Nice. The Lost City Mole Knight? Co 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 cooperative Cloning. Oh! The Wandering Travelers? Battle, the battle rages on. Block Tower Tinker Knight. Tweaking the Torque Lifts. Whee! <laughs> the Stranded Ship Polar Knight. Reunion. Oh, Polar Knight and Black Knight were friends? That's cute! Flying Machine Propeller Knight! Aw, they're on a date! You're back! You're alive? Wonderful! I'm going to assume that the that explosion was your handiwork? Yep, that crusty to old tower was an eyesore anyway. Amazing! I didn't get any rocks thrown at me today. I think the townspeople are actually grateful! Listen, Play Knight, I know you made all these potions and blew everything up all to impress me. I'm so flattered, really, I am. I have to make a confession, though. You're... Not my type. I'm so sorry. You see, I've fallen for a real man. Guys, guys, guys! The villagers are all in the juice bar, and they want to buy us around. Let's go! 
<laughs> that sounds lovely, but I think we'll catch up later. There's science to be done, Mona. Let's get started, Flag Knight. There's no telling what will brew up next. And here's the credits. I'm gonna let these credits play because, yep, this is the end of the Plague of Shadows. I really enjoyed this is sec our second run through of the Shovel Knight world. Plague Knight is very fun. I do enjoy the moment, mo the mo the movement capabilities of Plague Knight. There are there were a lot of moments in this game that were a bit. Uh, stressful, but that's Shuffle Knight for you. Shuffle Knight is obviously going to have those moments that even regular Shuffle Knight has those, and who knows, whenever we get to future endeavors with the Shuffle Knight franchise, we'll see even more. I can say, this is, there's, I think there's a reason why this game, or well, Shuffle Knight in general, is considered the Hallmark of a Kickstarter game gone right. I don't. It, it's everything about the, this game. The like, like every. If, if I'm correct, everything that was set out and planned for for this Kickstarter is um has been fulfilled. And if I'm correct, Yacht Club Games is making another game. I think there, there's. A, I don't know if the Kickstarter's still up. At this moment, I think I will link their new Kickstarter down below if it is up or not. Or I think I just I'll link it anyway in the description. They're making like a top-down like Game Boy Color as game like Link's Awakening, but with like their own vert characters and their own twists and turns with it. I'm actually kind of excited for that one. I haven't I haven't backed it yet. I have I don't have the capabilities to back it yet. I back it. I want to, though. I, but I, even if I can't back it, I will most likely buy it when it comes out. But yeah. Um, I guess since we're at this moment, I can hint what up. Uh, oh, hey, look. You can thank all the, kick the Kickstarter backers. Does this update... Does the current any speed speedrun percent record for Flag Knight update? And like, I, I would love to like have some like somebody like help prove this because I believe that updates like over time. I wonder if that does. I want to know. But uh, I guess I'll hint what my next my next plans of uh. Oh no, they're showing my death total. No! But my next, the hint of my next let's play is going to be, okay, I'm sorry, I keep set, pausing here. The flying machine in Tower of Fate Ascent has the exact same death totals. I find that funny, but. Okay, my next let's play's hint is, we're going back to another monster catching adventure. And of course, it's going to be randomized, like all the others. If you enjoy this video, you can like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time for a bonus video for Plague Night. If you enjoy this, and I'll see you. Goodbye.